Welcome back, true believers, and all you merry Marvelites, to another very exciting episode of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy 101. So, regarding the news for today's video, instead of diving deeper into the overall gameplay mechanics that this title will feature, we do actually have a lot more information revolving around the overall character backgrounds of each of the individual Guardians. Now, the most interesting, or rather strange, aspect about this news is that I personally wasn't able to find it be published anywhere else on any of the major gaming journalist websites. However, I can personally guarantee that all this information is absolutely 110% real simply based on how thoroughly detailed it is, and for even more official proof, we do see the legitimate Marvel 2021 trademark on the bottom right hand corner of all these character renders, as well as their own personal character sheets breaking down their background history within this game's universe. So I do want to personally say thank you and give a major shout out to the Soul social media page of Marvel's Avengers Updates on Twitter. There's an entire thread online posted by this Twitter page which goes over each of the specific Guardians, their lore, as well as mentioning some very interesting Marvel characters that we may or may not see appear within this game. And to put it bluntly, there is simply way too much information to cover here. However, if you do want to read the entirety of the characters' bios online, I will leave a link to the Marvel's Avengers Updates Twitter page in the description below. Because reading through every single one of these heroes' bios word for word would simply take way too long. However, I will give you a brief gist of what exactly you can expect with these characters, where the main writing team over at Eidos Montreal and Marvel Games have seemed to make a thorough hybrid between the Guardian's counterparts within the comics, as well as the MCU films. And while I will admit that even though I'm not too big of a fan of them borrowing certain elements of the characters' counterparts from the movies, I I do think that they have done enough within this iteration based on all the information that is given in these bios to make it feel like their own unique interpretation of these characters that feels fresh and innovative instead of a cheap knockoff. And to start off with breaking down the main man himself, we do have the main protagonist of the entire game, Peter Jason Quill, aka Star-Lord. And as his bio reads, Peter Jason Quill, the self-anointed Star-Lord, is a former pirate now trying to lead a somewhat straighter life. He and his quote-unquote Guardians of the Galaxy hop across a universe still reeling from the ravages of war, looking for the best and most profitable opportunities to deploy their unique talents. Hopefully, a few of them might even provide purpose and a sense of redemption. When a new universal threat emerges, Star-Lord quickly learns that taking on an overpowering menace is the easy part. So as you can tell from this one bio alone, and is going to be a similar pattern reappearing for the other characters' bios, is that I do think the writers are doing a very interesting job of taking elements that we are familiar with from the comics and the movies while also putting their own unique spin on it instead of making it a direct carbon copy. I really like how they seem to be going full throttle on the whole space pirate aspect of Star-Lord's character and seeing this entire backstory that they have crafted for him makes me very intrigued to exactly how his story is going to continue once we play the game for ourselves. But moving on to everyone's favorite space rodent is none other than Rocket Raccoon himself and as his bio describes Describes, no one understands the plight of the little guy better than Rocket Raccoon. The product of a genetically engineered super soldier experiment, he escaped his creators during the Galactic War, having no desire to die for their profit. Bounty hunting to fill his own pockets proved more to his liking. Should the Guardians of the Galaxy turn out to be lucrative, Rocket figures he'll play hero for a while. With no race or world or family to call his own, Rocket has the most to gain from forming lasting bonds with the other Guardians. He's also the least likely to admit as such. And to make a slight segue from Rocket's bio over onto Groot, because they do connect really well with one another, is that there's no one in the galaxy quite like Groot. Literally, his entire civilization was burned to a crisp at the start of the Galactic War, and there was nothing he could do to save them. A powerful force of nature whose primary instinct is to protect, Groot was the first battle-scarred adventurer to join the Guardians of the Galaxy. The misfit heroes are his family now, and he'll go to any lengths to defend them. And just as a quick reminder, keep in mind that everyone in the Guardians of the Galaxy have only been an actual team for less than a whole year. So this game's narrative isn't necessarily going to be an origin story as to how exactly the Guardians came to be, but rather they are going to have a much more deeper bond become apparent once we do experience the narrative that they will go through. And 
knowing all the in-depth chemistry that we already have going on between Peter, Rocket, and Groot is very intriguing to say the least. Now, as for the character whose bio I think is personally the most interesting out of the entire bunch is, of course, relating to Drax the Destroyer. Drax is all that remains of a Catathian father who lost everything. Once upon a time, Drax the Destroyer smashed through the galaxy like a wrecking ball, bent on avenging the galactic wartime murders of his beloved wife and daughter. But after years of destroying everything in his path and failing to quell the source of his rage, Drax realized he needed something more. Joining the Guardians of the Galaxy is his first step towards finding it and proving he is more than just the Destroyer. And to cap off the entirety of the Guardians bio roster, we do have the deadliest woman in the galaxy herself, none other than Thanos' daughter, Gamora. Gamora was raised to be a killer, a swift and silent dagger that her adoptive father Thanos could wield from the shadows. She broke free of Thanos' grasp during the Galactic War, only to be cast aside by her new allies after she helped them to win. Gamora knows what it's like to be used, and is looking to carve her own path. She's with the Guardians of the Galaxy for now, secretly hoping they don't turn out to be like everyone else. So even though it is extremely cool to get more of a background about what exactly this game's universe has in store, I sincerely hope that we don't see Thanos as the main villain within this game, and instead, Eidos keeps doing what they're currently doing, like focusing on more relatively unknown characters like what we're seeing with Lady Hellbender and some really trippy aliens, and possibly another big bad within the Marvel Comics universe that we haven't seen either in other games or the MCU films. Mainly, what I'm hoping for is either Adam Warlock or Korvac, which in my opinion is an extremely powerful Guardian's foe, which I think would be perfect for this game. And that brings us completely up to date to the entirety of each individual Guardian's backstory and knowing exactly what we can expect to flesh out even further within this broader Marvel Universe. And knowing that we have direct confirmation of some pretty massive Marvel figureheads in the cosmic realm with that of Thanos, Yondu, Nova, and Nebula, I'm really curious to see exactly how they might be brought up during the game's story. Primarily for the case of Nova, I would just love it if we were to receive a small cameo of him in some way, or just get a little bit of dialogue between his relationship with himself and Peter Quill. And believe it or not, everyone, but that was only a small amount of the entirety of the complete character bios that you can find on this online Twitter thread. Which again, I will leave as a complete link in the description below if you do want to read the entirety of it for yourself and be completely immersed within this Guardian's world. But with all that said, everyone, that is the massive video that I have for you today and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. Out of all the characters that I described, which bio did you personally find the most intriguing? For me personally, I'm really looking forward to learn more about our main character Star-Lord and see exactly how his chemistry is going to develop even further as we play through the story. Because as it stands right now, it seems like Rocket and Groot have the deepest connection to Peter based on the bios that we read and that Drax and Gamora do have some very interesting chemistry with him, but it might develop even further down the line. And I for one am very much looking forward to see exactly how this is all going to pan out. But with all that said everyone, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and stay tuned for more Guardians 101 videos in the future. And until next time, peace out.